Right, all right. Right, okay, okay, we're getting up to Halloween. Here's another spooky track. It's off Dust Till Dawn, you probably know that film. There's actually already some really good guitar lessons on YouTube for this track. There's a guy called Rob Gutman. He's an Austrian fella, I believe, from Vienna. He's tabbed it out. So what's the point of me doing this video? I just want to show you how I play it. I do it slightly differently to him. I got, um, I've been watching a video of Phil Alvin playing this live. I've just got a, maybe a different interpretation, but that's a great place to start. Or if you just want to stick around here, I'll give you the bare bones of it. Um, there's a lovely live video of Phil Alvin, and he's, he's had a bit of Johnny Walker's Black. I couldn't afford that, but I've got the Aldi version, which is the Highland Black. So... I'm going to have a little bit of that just to take the edge off. Improves your playing. Okay, here we go. So let's see if I can play that better now. I'm going to start with an E chord. Our pal Rob, who I mentioned earlier, he's kind of got it planned out so your thumb is sticking to the first three strings and then your first finger is going to be in control in control of the G middle fingers on the B third fingers on the top E there which is used a lot in that classical guitar style um, that's a really good starting point for this so your thumb is more or less going to be picking out this bass line I say a bass line, it's just skipping between the two E's on that E chord. So the bottom E there, and the second fret on the D string. So that's kind of setting your rhythm. And on top of that, your right hand's gonna be doing something like this. So that's the line. And then the trick is to try and do those both at the same time. I've been checking out this video, like I say, of the Blasters live. So I'm getting the impression that Phil Alvin is kind of using a more kind of, it's more loose kind of playing style. So I'm, get, I'm getting the vibe of like, and I can kind of see his first finger maybe strumming, strumming more than one string. And I think the thumb is moving around a bit more. He's almost using that thumb and finger kind of strumming technique. Um, so, yeah. So when he's singing, he's not playing that riff as much. He's kind of strumming out this chord. You can see him raising his hand up and providing more attack and bringing his hand up. Check that video out as well, because that might help you a little bit. And it looks like he's just using his thumb and first finger, but it might also be using some other fingers there as well. So that's why I mean, that's why I think it's good to try and watch as many different videos as possible and, and come to your own conclusion. Use your ears and your eyes. <laughs> So I'm going to play this really slow. So what I did there was I kept my thumb 
going throughout that that passage which you don't really hear on the record on the record the thumb kind of chills out a bit but it kind of goes with the rhythm of that top line and also in the live version it's kind of it's coming out of that rhythm a little bit this is what I mean when I say it's a little bit looser it's got its own kind of thing going on right and also he's not playing it exactly the same way through throughout the, the song you can hear that on the record as well for example for that intro the um that second bass hit i'm pretty sure it's going up to the g there Whoa. so instead of just doing that e to e the first hit is the bottom e and then the next one is on that first fret on the g string but these are like really small little uh, nuances and like i say i doubt very much mr alvin is going to be playing the exact same method throughout the entire song every night if you know what i mean so that's why i think it's cool to play it relaxed if it's not exactly the same as the tune that's okay that's the style of playing <laughs> As long as you got as long as you got like the basic tune, the melody going on. But yeah, my humble opinion. Shoot me down if you if you feel so inclined. Um That's helpful at all. Um, like I say, played it slow. There's tabs out there. Use your ears. I think on my Patreon, I might go into the solo. I've got a Patreon if you want to see more videos like this. When it kicks in, we've got all this kind of business going on. That kind of stuff. So I might go and look at that over on the Patreon. If you like this, you can check out some other videos. If you want to support me, you can buy a shirt. You can see me on the Patreon or buy me a brew. That's all good. And I'll see you later. Thank you very much. I'm going to have a little, I'll have a little, another little whiskey. Say cheers and see you later. Uh, Highland, Highland Black. So uh, yeah. Hmm. Hooey.